This is my local park, and this is where I come most days to get out of the house, have a walk and get some fresh air. As I haven't done any fishing lately, and what with these endless lockdowns and restrictions going on, it's been more important than ever to get outdoors amongst the natural surroundings and wildlife as much as I can. It's quite small and there's not much to it, but it's the nearest I can get to a bit of countryside, so I'm making the most of it. Anyway, there's a little lake here. I think it's got a few carp in it and a few other bits and pieces, but I'm not here to do any fishing today. Instead, I thought while I'm here, I'll tell you about the first of the tent fishing sessions that me and Pete did back in the summer. Essex may not be blessed with the best river fishing in the country, on the plus side, we do have more than our fair share of decent lakes. When it comes to float fishing, we're sport for choice really, and we didn't have to travel too far from home to enjoy some great sport on the float. At first, we didn't really target anything in particular, and just enjoyed catching whatever came along. But one day, Pete landed a lovely tench, and all that changed. The first lake we really concentrated on for the tench was Doggett's Farm. It's a funny shaped place, it's like a maze with loads of reed beds and little bays and channels all over the place, and in summer it's pretty weedy as well. It's popular with the carp anglers, but it was supposed to hold a decent head of tench, so armed with some hemp, a few tins of corn and a bag of ground bait, we turned up early one sunny morning to give it a go. In terms of tactics, we kept things pretty simple. We fished crystal wagglers a little bit over depth with a single grain of corn on a size 14 barbless and no shot on the line at all, so the corn would just flutter down and rest gently over the weed. The swims were fairly shallow with about four foot of water over them and we primed them with three or four balls of ground bait to start with and then fed a sprinkle of hemp or corn every cast. Once we got settled in, I started feeling a bit peckish, as you do, so I thought I'd tuck into a few of the sarnies we brought with us. We'd left the carrier bag with the food in at the back of the swim, and when I grabbed it, I could see the rats had been at it. There was a bloody great hole in the bag, and of course, the buggers had got at me sarnies. So that was that. No breakfast for me, unfortunately. It's a nice little lake, though, Doggett's. Unusual shape, and most of the swims are tucked away from each other behind the reed beds, so you can't really see anyone else. You sort of feel like you've got the place to yourself. It was nice sitting there in the sun. I remember it took a little while to get the swim going, but then we started picking up small roach and the odd rud or two, and then the bream started getting on it, and then we were catching them quite consistently as well. No sign of a tench though, so we soon started wondering if a move might be in order. But all comes to he who waits, so we stuck with it, and finally our patience was rewarded when Pete got the bite we were waiting for. Even though we were still catching, things did slow up a little bit. I went for a walk around the lake to shoot a bit of b-roll and actually ended up getting a bit lost and it took a while to find my way back. But my timing was pretty good because soon after I arrived in Pete's swim, he struck into something decent. As I was busy trying to get some filming done, I neglected me swim for a while, and not surprisingly it went off the boil for a bit, but Pete was catching pretty consistently throughout the day, and although most of the bites were roach and bream, there were definitely a few more tench mooching about. You could see the old classic tench bubbles coming up here and there in his swim, and it looked like it was only a matter of time before he'd have another one in the net. <laughs>
didn't get amongst the tench myself that day, but we went back to Doggett's a few times after that and found a nice little swim on the other side of the lake and that produced well for us. And over the next few trips, we managed to land quite a few nice fish up to about five pound or so, all on the float fish corn. There's supposed to be bigger ones in there, but for our next trip, we tried our luck elsewhere. But I'll save that story for another time. Thank you.